Hi, I'm PJ from PhotoshopBus.co.uk, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how, if you've got After Effects as well as Photoshop, um, either in your Creative Cloud or you downloaded one of the Master uh, or Creative Suite collections um, before Creative Cloud, then you can take advantage of animation in After Effects. Um, if you're stuck on something in Photoshop it just makes it a bit easier so I've gone ahead and in Photoshop just created this simple um, clock we don't need to see the dots um, so bring it into, into After Effects by just double clicking in this window We've got the project window I've just got the standard web workspace open here and as I haven't done any tutorials really before this one for After Effects maybe a couple uh, a couple Pacific ones but none really um, detailing a st um, you know when you first open After Effects if you're an absolute beginner you'll open After Effects go to standard workspace click on your project and double click in this window here and I'm going to bring in this clock PSD now without going into all of this we're just going to retain layer styles, leave editable layer styles and live Photoshop 3D. Click OK. And then this is now a composition that's shown by this kind of like movie, movie um, reel or this um, negative with this free color tri band in it. And I'll try and zoom in that for you. So now you can just double click on that. If you want to create your clock in After Effects, then you can create a composition by clicking on that button. And it's create new composition. And then you can create a width and a height and a frame rate and a duration. But we're just going to do this. And if we control click on the time over here, we're in frame, that's fine. So we've got all the um, same layers that we had and we've got the guides, we haven't got the grid, that's about all we haven't. So we can just get rid of these lines and we can turn off the dots because we just want the numbers. They were just a, a guide to help me with the numbers. We can click on the hand clock PSD layer and I can solo that by clicking here, this little round dot here is the solo button. Um, so if we turn on our alpha channel, you can see we've just got that. So unsolo that, and then we're just going to click on R for rotation. And there's, uh, I think, five basic transform properties you've got anchor point, position, scale, rotation, rotation, and O capacity but we're just going to need rotation so R for rotation S for scale T for opacity so opacity um, what else is there? Um, P for position okay so then click down to rotation we're going to set a keyframe so on this stopwatch just like in Photoshop uh, frame animation click there which I've done plenty of tutorials on now on here we can see that if we rotate it at the minute it's going to rotate from wherever the anchor point is and if I zoom in, use press space bar, get my hand tool, zoom down you can see that the anchor point there is in the centre of the hand. Let's come here and just do fit up to 100%. So we want it down here otherwise it's going to rotate just on that anchor point. So we can press Y, and that's the kind of the pan behind tool. And on pan behind, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one along. So you can press Y, hold down Y, and that way, you click on the anchor point, and bring it down to the bottom center of that hand, just where you can see them little squares are. And then by using it like that keeping your finger on Y it just reverts straight back to the move to afterwards now let's come along to you know maybe 
24 frames per second and 100 frames so that's 4 seconds let's just come to the end and just over 4 seconds and then do 1 turn or 360 degree turn so this is in degrees so we can do 360 and that's one revolution if we go to the beginning and press 0 we've done one revolution now if you want to stretch that out we can click on stretch if you haven't got this then you can right click and bring up columns hide them there uh, we can stretch out this to 200% and that way we'll get a slower animation there we go anyway so that's how you can create um, rotation inside of After Effects using a composition that you've built in Photoshop um, if you want to render this out now you go composition add to render queue and then on render queue you go to your output module click on it and you can choose one of the ones down here if you wanna maybe bring this back into Photoshop bring it into Photoshop and then bring it back out as a GIF then you could okay or quick time or a sequence we'll just render this out somewhere just to get on a desktop save and click on render let's render that and then file open go to desktop clock open let's put it into Photoshop let's get rid of our grid so uh, view show grid and if we play it, you can see we have that video file there. We go edit uh, file rather, save for web. We've got GIF selective diffusion. We only really probably need eight and thirty three percent. Set it to forever, play it, stop, and then you'd save it. We'll just do a preview. and there's our clock. That's me, Photo, Photo Junkie for photoshopbus.co.uk. I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.